All right, everybody. So we're back. This is Chris Germain, aka the Real Binary Master. December twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one, guys. Merry Christmas. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing, happy New Year. But let's get into it and let's get ourselves winning in this New Year. And let's look for opportunities that are going to give us the most for bang, right? Why do I have this area in? marked up what do we see guys this is a massive down move push and then price just stalls out stalls out push down and then the last down move before a massive big push up and an engulfing candle this ladies and gentlemen is going to be our order block and our area of potential interest in the future when price comes to it and also when looking for order blocks, we look for high probability order blocks. What's a high probability order block? An order block that meets a couple different criteria. Does the order block break through a level? Does this order block break through a level? Is this a support level? Okay, okay. This order block broke through a level. This order block broke through a level. Yeah? This is a level here within this zone, and this is a second level within this zone. And this engulfing candle, this order block broke through both those levels within this zone. That is going to be criteria number one. Number two, does the order, bo order block have or create an imbalance within price? Does the order block create an imbalance in price and the answer to this question is how do I tell what an imbalance is an imbalance is where price has not come back to and filled after it broke through so for an example this wick to this wick price has not come back in to this region at all and usually what happens is price will come back and Fill 50% of this imbalance here. Now, there's not 100% accurate. It doesn't It's not always going to, um, you know, fill 50%. It might fill 55. It might come down to 70. It might fill the whole thing. It doesn't. 50% uh, is idea where you want to take your entries from, um, especially within an area of potential interest when you're referring in reference to an order block. Your stop loss, however, would just have to be below this order block, right? You want your stop low below this wick, so that way price doesn't come back in the future with you out and move back up. So, without getting too off track, let's let's understand this order block a little more. Let's see. Let me just remove everything. Remove grabs. Okay. So here we are. This is our interest. This is the last down move before massive rally to the upside starting with this massive bullish engulfing candle that's going to be and give us our order block okay this is our order block and from that order block we have an imbalance remember what I said about imbalances we go from the candle that we're order blocking that we are engulfing the previous candle we take that wick to the wick of the very next candle so wick to wick, let me change this to black, change it both to black so you guys can see it a little better on the white surface, and change it to line two, make it a little smaller, a little more neater. okay, so from this wick to this wick, from this wick to this wick, now Remember what I said, price usually comes back and fills 50%. Now, how do we get 50%? There's two ways you can do this. You can take the the uh, rectangle tool, and you can go from this wick to that wick, right? Because we have the lines drawn up, so we know. And then you could put a smack line directly dead in the middle. These, these, these uh, squares here are... Uh, the 50 percent or half of um, the box the rectangle okay so this would be 50 percent yeah 
Oh, there you go, that's 50%. If you're not sure that that's 50% of this imbalance, you can remove the rectangle and you can use the Fibonacci retracement tool. And you can go from this wick down to this wick here. And your entry is going to be the 50%. As you see, our entry is the 50%. Now I'm going to remove the Fibonacci retracement. We're going to click on this. Zero it out so we can bring it over, right? Well, before we go over there, this is where we would potentially set a buy order, buy limit, right? That's just before we do it. We're going to take 50%. Remember, our stop loss has to be below this wick. You could bring it down a couple if you need to. Here. And you're going to take it. Say one to one, or one to one and a half, or one to two. I like you can go for. I like to go, you know, one and a half to one to two, um, off the OBs because what a lot of times is we'll have price respect the OB the first time it touches it, and then price will uh, eventually come back and break it. So let's let's get this extended. Uh, we can extend it. Extend it all the way over until the price solid breaks. Okay. We have our imbalance, 50% imbalance. This would be entry number one. This is important, guys. Entry number one. number one. That's going to be this. This balance is going to be entry number one. Now entry number two Entry number two could be from your order block. So you put buy limit here, just below the wicks. And in reality, you could do this wick here. Let's just say for this, keep it simple. This one's going to be one to five. I'll go to one to two on this one to get rid of it. If you guess that, I'll say one to two. Well, now let's break this down a little bit. 
break this down a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so we see this as our area of interest. We know this is 50% of our imbalance. This is our order block. And we ha we know that you we can anticipate price coming within this 50%. So we have set our buy limit here with our stop loss below this wick. And we're going from 1.5 to 1. You can go 1 to 2. Um, remember, I wouldn't go that much more than that when it's coming to the order box. Um, or imbalance because price can work to it work away from it and then break it and then go on and create another order block potentially in the opposite direction but these are areas of reaction these are areas of interest where something's gonna happen okay now just like we see here price pushed let me get rid of this uh, let me just mark up take profit with a green line. Stop loss with a red line. And a little yellow for the second take profit. Delete this. We notice the imbalance in price. We set our buy limit here because this is a bullish imbalance. This is a bullish engulfing um, and a bullish order block. Excuse me. So we're taking our buy 50% off the imbalance. Let's play it out and see what happens. So immediately we get a reaction. Now let's check this reaction, right? From this 50% imbalance, price pushes up immediately 53 pips. From this imbalance, price pushes up 53 pips. Now our take profit is up here and our stop loss is down here. So this is the first time price hit the 50% imbalance. Now let's play it out and see what happens. An interesting thing occurred here. Price actually came down and um, came down within this order block and, and came to pick up these orders here. So this imbalance, now 100% of this imbalance is going to be filled. So you could potentially, because your stop loss hasn't been hit, you could potentially take a second entry at this area of your order block okay you this would be your second entry right and your second entry is going to be a much better risk to reward ratio because your stop loss doesn't have to be as far uh, away from your entry because we've taken a second entry here where our first entry was here so the difference between our first entry and our second entry is almost 35 pips so if we had a 50 pip stop loss on our original entry, our 35 pip uh, further away, now that that second entry is only going to have a 15 pip stop loss, okay? Now, we need price to hit our take profit so before it hits the stop loss. So after the order block got filled, and 100% of this imbalance got filled and the, and the um, order block orders got picked up, we had an immediate push of 125 pips to the upside. Now let's see what happens. Let's play it out. Boom. So not only did 50% of our imbalance hit our 118 pip take profit, our second entry from our our smart money concept off this order block here 
we came up and smashed 150